he can't, we told Cammy to come in on Monday, but he didn't care. He came in today. He says he needs two seconds of time. He wants to announce his new business project. And I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know, but. Why couldn't he wait till Monday? I don't know, but Gary said to me, when Tom hears this, he's going to go through the roof. Really? All right, Cabby, okay, sit down real quick. And don't, you were supposed to come in Monday. Did you get your days confused? I have no idea what this is. How you doing, man? But I, I, I trust that it's going to be interesting if Gary says to me, Tom is going to go berserk. All right. Oh, I don't think Tom's going to go berserk. I just have a, a, a big announcement. How you doing, man? <laughs> All right, what is your announcement? This is Crazy Cabby. He's a disc jockey on our station. Well, I, have with a, Kane. I, I have a new business endeavor that I've... Uh, everybody, you know, uh, the web, the World Wide Web is huge right now. And okay. Lots of people are getting into it and uh, jumping out of the stock market. And I've, uh, I've created a website... That uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna become a millionaire on the uh, internet. All right, go ahead. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with being entrepreneurial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, go ahead, make your announcement. I have created an online gaming site. Really? Yeah, wow. gam gambling, sports betting. Oh. What are you doing? I'm serious. Really? You're right here. Yeah. You gotta be offshore to do. That. Yeah, I think it's illegal if you do it in this country. Do you have a boat? Uh, not yet, but after this, I will have a boat. What are, you, what are you talking about? Some guys got in business with you. They called you up and said, "Hey, Cabby, would you come in with us?" Ah, uh, yeah. I got, I got, I got, but but I put my own money. I, I bet, bet how, how much money? Com. How much? Betcabby dot com. C a b b y i e i e. Yeah, yeah. And you guys can all go on there and bet. I got, I got some how money. How much of your you. own money did you put up? A lot. Be honest. How much did you put a, up? A lot. I'm not hundred got... grand. Yeah. What? You, yeah, you can you can try to win my money, oh, wow. oh, you know. but but Whatever I can win your money. <laughs> yeah, right. right. All right. I'm I'm, I'm right. dead serious. Okay. I'm dead why, serious. Why does Gary think Tom will go nuts from this? Why does Tom care? I don't know. Why does he think that Tom? I don't know. I don't know. But it's it's dead serious. And then we got crazy bets. Like uh, one of my crazy bets is, uh, will you win your lawsuit? Right. Yeah. And what are the odds? Uh, here, I, I, I'm not odds, good with. Yeah. I'm not really By good. By the way, with I don't think this is such an exceptionally crazy announcement. You went into business. Yeah, I. I, I this is a very serious business. I mean, I, I want to be rich. I want to be like you. I'm very serious. But why do you want to have the listeners bet money at your website and lose money? And, and well, they could win money too. Really? Yeah. yeah. It, it's, 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 this is a perfectly legitimate. All right. Well, you've made, okay. You will pay off the bet. Go, go on the web. You got the web there, don't you? Go on the site. I plan on winning money. Oh, I can't do it now. I got to move along. But I mean, let's see. Will Howard propose to Beth within nine months? Those are some of the crazy bets you can bet. Right. Like, and then you can. Bet. And then there's real, you know, sports betting. Because the reason we had to do this today, yeah. March Madness, baby. Right. So is it's there, in is full the, effect. Is it's, the whole website it's, about? It's it, up and running. Is the whole website about my show? And no, no, not, not at all. Just one aspect. It's sports. Of yeah, us. yeah. The crazy bets is about us. my. You know, right. Well, not necessarily about you. All right. Well, hey, it I could wish be you about luck. anything. I wish is you luck, buddy. Is there any cabby betting? Like the next time you'll have uh, gay sex. A relapse or gay sex? I think Scott's the gay sex. What's up with that? I, I think that's been canceled. So, it has really all right, been so canceled. Cabby has announced his... He's a businessman. I, and thank you for letting me announce it. <laughs> www.betcabby.com. I wish you luck with it. I don't think it's that outrageous. Barbara, you're on the air. Hi, Howard. How you doing? How you doing, honey? Okay. You know, this is so funny because I called you like years ago, almost about the same kind of thing. I don't know if you'd remember this, but it was about um, your picture not being on the TV guide. And uh, well, Who are you? I'm sorry? What do you mean? What are you talking about? I called you a few years ago that I got a TV guide in the mail and it had a picture of Oh, right, 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 right. Right. Yeah. Well, this time I'm reading Us Magazine, and it seems that there's an article that says that you wanted to be on the cover. I didn't want to be on the cover. Uh, but a woman called me from Us Magazine. Right. I was complaining that they got their entire cover story about Fred Durst and Britney Spears from my show. And she was crowing about how they gave me a credit on the inside uh, article and mentioned my name. I said, mention my name. How about the cover should be Howard Stern gets your cover story and a picture of me? That's all I said. I said, if you're going to... if And you what? know what? Those bastards called me. I called them back, right? Yeah. I kind of gave you that scoop. Am yes. I right? Yes. I broke that story. Mm -hmm. And the guy, like, I told him the whole story again. And he, and he quoted in the story, 
Uh, Fred Durst told some radio disc jockey he had oral sex with Britney Spears. You are uh, some disc jockey. Yeah. That's your, that's your that's credit. Your <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's Screw a, Us magazine. It's like if you get the scoop, give give someone some credit. But um, that's all that was. I, I don't want to be on the cover of Us magazine. I don't care about being on the cover of Us magazine. Yeah, because you've never been on the cover of any magazines. Mm -hmm. Hey, so Garrett, where's Baba Bowie? Why should he be mad at Cabby? Why is Tom mad at Cabby? I don't understand what he what his point was. Betcabby dot com. Hey, can I ask Cabby? Can you do this over the phone? In case you, yeah, there actually is a, there is a phone number. Yeah. It's uh one eight seven 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 Cabby. And what is your big announcement? C A B B I E. I mean, that's the big announcement. That's the big announcement. Th that's a pretty big announcement. Got I went into man. business for myself and uh, online gaming, baby. <laughs> All right, well, hey, I wish Send you luck. Send me your money. I hope you bet with me. I hope you don't end up in jail. I think I'm going to bet Xavier Casino. on Gabby's site. Actually, right. uh, I have a, uh, for all of you, but I have yours right here. Here's a thousand bucks for you. Papa Foley, what? Tom, are you upset about Cabby's announcement that he went into business in, on the Internet? Uh, Is there a I rule before, against that? Yeah, I think before he goes into business, especially a business that, um, A, he, he can never plug it. We have... Uh, other businesses who buy advertising for us. But he's us a guest on the show. Hey, I'm, not, I'm not letting. I'm. I'm letting him do a plug to be a guest. I mean, I mean we do that. Preference. I mean, a Golden Palace is a real good account. They, you know, they. Well, is it okay if I bet. we we buy advertising with the station? Is that cool? Maybe. Of course, it's cool. Why yeah. would you not? Why been, on, you? been on sports. You know, I mean, who did the the football pool last year? Gary you know, was right. You are if, upset if, about if, Cabby's if, number. If, if BetCabby.com uh, buys advertising on the station, is that okay? I mean. Sure. That's a conversation I'd like to have before we start giving your new website a whole bunch of free plugs. There you go. Wow. Maybe, maybe uh, I'm in trouble. I don't know. I didn't know what he was going to announce. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, you're, you're doing what you need to do. See, Tom, this Gary, well, Gary, you didn't know what he was going to say when he was A little consultation um, before, because best, there's, some, there's language in the contract that talks about best interest and things like that. Um, so you're not totally free agent, and you do have some responsibility to consult with your manager about what you're doing in terms of what your outside projects are. So, yes, you, really? you're not just sitting here um, able to do anything and everything you want to do. So I am in trouble? Can't be getting you're spanked just, You're just an idiot. Oh. oh! All right, so the next yeah. bet should be, when will Cabby be fired? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some betting so, uh, for one of the crazy you know, bets. As, as much as the guy wants to say he's not crazy, he, he continues is. to do things that are crazy. But here's my take on it. Name. Let's say he went into the clothing business, you know? And he said, uh, okay, i got a clothing store. And he comes on my show, okay, and he says, hey, I, I want to plug my clothing business one time. Actually, I do. Um, we're making some T-shirts, not for the betcabby.com thing, right. but for support our war. Dot com. That's another thing I got going. Oh and you're selling God. them? Yeah, we're gonna sell them on supportourwar.com. Make some later. money off the war. That's different. Yeah, but like but, F Iraq and you know, right? But 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 yeah. Tom, I don't see a problem with this. I guess support this is, this the is war, a right way and a wrong way to do things. Okay, all right. You, know, you take Cabby. You've done the wrong thing. Well, uh, how the, he I, may have done the right thing in the wrong way, but I mean, it, so I'm, I'm more I, I'm very concerned about how he does things. I just want to be you a know, millionaire and as, and as like you, Tom. And as usual, you know, he comes from the shoot ready aim rather right. than ready aim. You know, that's a paratrooper, baby. Right, <laughs> death from above, man. We're over there kicking some ass right now. I miss the blood. You know that, right? Well, all right, Cabby. You've heard from Tom, and I think maybe maybe you should go work this out with him. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, but I'm not the general manager of the station. You know, I killed people in Iraq. <laughs> we know. Twelve years ago. All right. Right about right. this time. Did he stop his medication again. No, I'm back on it. Actually, they upped the Topamax. <laughs> and, they killed, you know, and they did kill the first. The first Marine was killed this morning. I, I know. He was killed in action. Yes. yes. Yeah. What happened? Do they know? No, they, they didn't give out the details. Can you stop crackling you stop that bottle? Sorry, we're talking about war. What are you, what are you throwing it at me for? I'm you? just throwing it. Don't, Sorry, don't Tom. It. Boy, is he... Man, there was some aggression. You are a brave I just man to hire this guy, <laughs> Tom. I love you. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. War dot com. That's the next thing. But bet, bet, cabby dot com. <laughs> <laughs> you are, if you're on there for all your online no way, hey, sports betting. Hey, I, I, I went, by the way, I wasn't kidding about plugging. We're done. Oh, oh. Okay. We're done. Yeah, we're done plugging. Okay. All right. You got a lot of plugs. Wow. No, but I, I just went. How about yes. Trim Spa? You know Jay, what? you're on the air. Support the troops. Hey, trim Spa? Yeah. Love Trim Spa. Jay, go ahead. Yeah, how you doing? Hey. What can we do to keep this this freak cabbie off the show? <laughs> Come on, get rid of him. Get, he's, he's, he stinks. 
All right, Mike, okay. you're on the air. Calling from a tin Howard, can. get this idiot off the air. Nobody cares about his stupid website. Tom is 100% right. All right, thank you, Mike. I'm sick of this. All right, there you go. inside the building. <laughs> Joe, go ahead. Hello? Yes. Hey, uh, Kevin, Howard, can I get a bet in on the site? That Tom Chiasano's really gay. <laughs> all right, you can bet that on you Gabby's can, website. You can there's all the odds you want on that. But uh, that's not a crazy bet, is it? Yeah, that's, that's a crazy pretty crazy. Bet. That's pretty crazy. That's a crazy bet. He might be something, but he's not gay. Thank you. Yes. No, he's very straight. But do straight men wear tailored shirts? Yes. That could be a bet. <laughs> all right, I got to yes. take a break. The right. show's gotten completely off Jesus. track because of Cabby's announcement. Hey, but just remember, support our troops, man. Yeah, man. Because right now they need all the support they can get. Pray for our troops. God bless America. <laughs> and if you want to lose 100 pounds, 1 800 trim spot, baby. All right, Cabby. Thank you yes, for your big announcement. Howard, I appreciate your time. <laughs> all right. Hey, Cabby, what? One more time. What's the name of that site? <laughs> <laughs> Cabby.com, baby. All right, go work it out with Tom. We'll be back right after these words. Right. My name is Cabby, and I act like I am six. All I can think about is getting my next fix. I'm a loser and a boozer. Common sense I lack. What the hell do you expect when your whole world is cracked? Did. Rick, what's up? Yeah, I was. Uh, I wanted to call and uh, find out how uh, Cabby did with uh, Saddam Giassano on Friday. <laughs> oh yeah, Cabby called me all upset Friday night. Wanted my advice. I was on yeah, the phone wanna... with him. Evidently, Tom has been yelling at Cabby. Well, oh yeah, it goes a little deeper than that. I don't know, but um, Tom is. Uh, is going to use this rule that says that employees of the company are not allowed to start those kind of companies. Well, Tom's wrong. I was thinking about this. I, I mean, listen, that's between Tom and Cabby. But why can't Cabby be part? I mean, what is he, the president of the United States? You mean to tell me Cabby can't be part of another company and take out advertising for it? I mean, what? Well, what is the one it? thing I would say about Cabby, though, is he's now asking for advice. Right. He didn't ask for advice before he decided to. Because why would you need advice? You what did he do wrong? need advice because you work for a media company and there are rules. Hey, but I don't know that he's breaking any rules. Apparently, I think he has Tom one, found John, one. John said he's even had trouble with this rule. Yeah, there's some there. weird rule that I don't even know about, but I hear like that, that you can't do any outside business. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on. Let's stop the let's stop the truck right now before you, made, you stop buying into Tom. You made Roger. a movie before this company owned the. Paramount. Of course. Let, let me tell That's you something. That's not the same thing. That was outside of this. Yes. Company. He's trying to do business uh, uh, in this company and get paid by this company at the same time. Well, how is Wrong. he paid by the company for doing this? Is no, he he gets a salary here, right. and he also he wants to double up, and he's working for a company that sells advertising, and he wants to work with this company as an advertiser and as an employee. There but may be something wrong interest, with that. Right, no, 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 hold, hold, hold. Let me talk now, because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, that's what Cabby does. Cabby's a DJ, and now he wants to own a company that buys advertising. You're saying that no yeah. DJs ever owned a company? Like, remember Jack Spector had the eyeglasses company? Yeah, I mean, that it's considered payola, right? Hold, 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 hold. That had nothing to do with the radio. Sure, they, they advertised on the station. He used to do the spots. I think it's... Let me, let me, sure, he, sure he did. Let me tell you something. You're all getting confused because Jack Spector came to the company already owning that eyeglass company. So the what? way this... So what? What's the difference? And it's a gambling company. That also may come into it. But the way, Robin, how is Howard allowed to do Son of the Beach, be the producer, and then... That has nothing to do with this company. He has a production company outside of it. Yeah, so why can't Cabby have his own... They... Cabby can have his own company, but there may be some problem with a gambling company. There may be a lot of issues here. All right, here's the bottom line. Started years ago where networks, movie studios, try to control everything. They try to control people. Okay? Now, in radio, there have been conflict of interests where, let's say, a guy gets on the radio who's a financial advisor. And he gets on the radio and he says, you know what's a great uh, stock pick or do you know what's a great company to uh, buy your stocks with? And he doesn't reveal to the audience that he is an owner in the company. That's a violation. That's a business violation because you because let's say it's a land scheme or something like that. Well, there have been people who have actually done that. That's right. And gone to jail for it. And rightly so. You have to tell people if you're doing an infomercial. Now, then what happened in radio is that a lot of guys kind of said, you know, why not own something outside of radio so that, you know, you have a nest egg or whatever. 
I, and what happened was a lot of news people try to do this. News people who were supposed to have credibility on the air, you know, back in the anchoring days, Walter Cronkite, they didn't want news people to be involved in any other business because they said it would upset their objectivity. It would look crass. It would look wrong if you saw Walter Cronkite in an ad or if you saw him selling neckties. So it was the beginning of the end for talent. Who is that? That was me. Sorry, Howard. Am I boring you? I'll drop. No, no, not at all. All right. So this is what happened. As far as Cabby going into business with an internet company and then saying to Tom, hey, I own this company, I want to buy advertising, I don't see the problem other than it's one of control. Who even cared if news people were in business? I could care less if they did advertising. Do you think Tom would have cared less if the company that Cabby had started wasn't similar to a company that advertises with us. Do you think Tom would have made an issue out of it? Tom is making an issue out of it because he thinks he should make an issue out of it. Well, then here's the question: We have, you know, a few, a few, you know, we have Bally's, we have New York Sports Club, we have, we have a bunch of the same kind of sponsors. So why would that matter? Well, because the, the money Cabby's talking about advertising is yet to be seen. Right. All right. So let's say Cabby advertises. Tom's saying he doesn't even want that. He doesn't want Cabby to be involved in the business. He doesn't want his money. He doesn't want him to be involved in another business. And I'm like. The problem, he doesn't necessarily not want Cabby to be in another business, but Cabby springs things on Tom Fine. all That's the time. That's wrong. That's wrong. He has an agent and a manager who are supposed to make sure he doesn't step over the line of his contract. He doesn't contact any of them. But, he goes off and he does this thing. But why shouldn't and it's he? It's a big surprise. But why can't he be? Why does he have to? What is Tom his mother? He's got to check with Tom. Now, if he starts getting I didn't on the say radio, check with Tom. He has an agent who's supposed to make sure he doesn't violate his contract. Did he and violate he anything? This. If he had done that, he would. He, Tom would have been sitting there saying. Uh, Cabby, you can't, and he could have said, no, I checked with my agent, this is perfectly legal. He can't say that because he never asked anybody. He did it first. And I don't see what he did wrong. I still haven't heard from Tom what he did wrong. You don't know what he did wrong because you don't know the legalities, but I'm I asked Tom. he never went yeah, Robin, the route <clears throat> that he should have to make sure he did. All right, so let's assume that he should go and ask Tom's permission. Not but Tom. Get his, he has an agent who arranged for his contract. Talk to his agent. Make sure he hasn't. He has everything in order. But all I know is I heard Tom's argument, and I don't hear it. I don't see what he's saying. I don't know. I don't think I Tom likes Cabby. Well, yeah. That's... I think Tom thinks that he has this control over Cabby, and I don't think he does. And I don't even know why he wants to. But Robin is a little right in the sense that if Cabby would have known, had got his agent. Okay, fine. Well, no, I, I agree, agree that he's not going to the problem with Cabby. But Robin was saying that. Robin's not saying ask Tom's permission. Robin's saying go to your agent. And say, find out if he's illegal. Who no, knows he if he did or didn't? Because Tom asked he him. Told he told me he didn't. He yeah. said, no, I did this without talking to anybody. Because he could have said to Tom. My point, hey, is, into my point is, and I still maintain it, I don't think he did anything wrong. This you is my point. You don't know what his business really is. You don't know who he's doing business with. And you don't know what his deal is. So how can you say that? But, and neither does Tom. So Tom just came out with a blanket statement but saying. But Tom is like, don't, uh, my employees shouldn't be surprising me on the airwaves. Uh, Why not? Second, wait he's, second, not wait he's not Big because, Daddy. Wait a second, wait a he's second. He's responsible oh. for this license. If I go out and create dial a bed, yeah. if I go out and create dial a bed, my new sponsor. All right. Uh, I don't have to ask Tom's Tom, permission. I have to, uh, for it. And for a time, I'm I don't have to ask. Tom, which I don't like. I don't want to say your defense, right? I don't understand say your defense. So if you go out and create a business, you got to check with Tom. Well, that's funny you mentioned that because this was a gambling company. This was an issue. So what? This was an What's issue. What's wrong with gambling? It's legal. Uh, no, it's, it's not no, it's legal. Not. If it's offshore, <laughs> sure it is. Absolutely, offshore gambling is legal. Wait a minute, gambling. How do you is think we, Again, we have sponsors? You're no, who our this sponsors do not promote gambling. Our sponsors promote the fact that there is free information that you can get there. But you, you can, can gamble. Play. You can you bet. Can, you can go play the games for free. That's what our sponsors promote. Yeah, but, it, but look, between you and me, they no, still have gambling. Between you and me, that's what our sponsors promote. So you promote. can't go to Golden Palace and play blackjack for money? It's technicality. But you would set that important. up with a new sponsor. If Cabby came to you and said, hey, listen, we want to buy a sponsorship. I don't, I, I don't want our, an employee of the company. Go ahead to be involved with a gambling website, and he's here to, to try and build ratings and help us to develop revenue. But, so what, and, so, but you're not his daddy. Have, Why can't he no, be on a gambling no, website? I have the right to exercise some control over the outside. Absolutely. Okay. But not to have, to have him resign or, not when, to, or to tell employee, him not to have a, a gambling website. It's like, um, Why? You're wrong. you're wrong. Why? Because the contract gives me the ability to do that. Oh, man. That's... He signed a bum contract. Hey, hey Tom, Tom, can I ask a question? So, so if I wanted to open a, a restaurant, 
I would have to go in and then ask you if it's okay to own a restaurant? I mean, I think we should talk about it before. Would I have a problem with you being in a restaurant? No. So, it's more, problem it's, you... so that it's more of it that it's a gambling. Right. I mean, so, yeah, that's a big problem. So what? He's not doing anything illegal. I say gambling is the same as a restaurant. No, it's not. I mean, the fact that he's involved in a gambling website is illegal on this station? Gambling on the inter gambling in the state of New York is still an illegal activity. That's true. I know we've gone through this with a lot of other sponsors, Howard. That's why you never say you go there and win a ton of money. Right. It's go there right. and play the game. Okay. All right. So that's how you have to word it on the air. But he's right. still so allowed to go Cabby and do it. Did Cabby ever go to anybody to make sure of the wording of anything? No, he just blurts no. out stuff on the air. Okay, but I'm and saying he blames it on his ADD. Right, but he's still. But you're you're defending Cabby, and Cabby has no defense. Right. Yes, he does. For the way he handled. I this. see it differently. The okay. way he handled this was wrong. I see it differently. Fine, I'm you stopped. see it differently, but the truth is, he handled it wrong, and you would never handle anything this way. No, I wouldn't handle it that way. I have a different way of doing business, but still, yeah. I maintain that a dish jockey has the right oh, yeah, to be in any business off the air, not even an illegal business. one, and let him go to jail for and it and if it's illegal. Well, that's and what and you say. The, yeah, right. that's what I say. And I'm I not your right, dad. No, and I have the right. Well, he signed a bum contract then. But he can't. You you cannot do well, apparently, absolutely is it, is anything. That the, you even wait, have Robbie. clauses in your contract uh, yeah. for things you can't do. Isn't that all of our contract? Is, is, is that the infinity line? Yes. Yeah. It isn't just Cabby's contract. It's everybody's. everybody's. You mean if I want to open a restaurant, even though you now it's say you approve a restaurant, restaurant, let's say I want to open a restaurant. A restaurant's different than being involved with internet gambling. Well, so a restaurant can serve alcohol as long as he's not doing anything illegal. As long as they have a liquor license, that's legal. As long as Cabby ain't doing anything illegal, he should be able to go do any business. He wants. The question as to whether he is or not. So, but don't tell him he can't be an advertiser That's on the station. Why is he hour, telling him that? Hour. He can't be if an he, illegal advertiser. No, Tom's saying he can't have if his I, name on a website why, why and can't. Why would I want him to advertise at a business that he's not going to be associated with if he's an employee here? But but why should hour, he be allowed to hour, be a part I, of that I business? Have the reason, I have the reason why Tom doesn't want him to do this. If it was a restaurant, it would be a different story. No, it would be the same problem. Then he could get something free out of it. And with the betting thing, he's not getting anything. No, no, no. I, get, I get what's going on here. But, but Tom, I, you, you I'm telling like you, Tom, anyway, right? listen to me. I think you're a little off the mark. I'm not. Yes, you are. Because the company will always try to control what you do on the outside. It's not about the control issue. I don't have a problem with that, but he did go about this entirely the wrong way. I don't agree. I absolutely agree. I don't agree. You do You're agree because you wouldn't do it. Why wouldn't you do it if that's I'm not talking about that. Business. I'm not yeah, talking about what I would do. I'm talking about what he did. Howard, if you were doing it, would you ask Tom or would you go somewhere else? Listen to me. Tom has nothing to do with what I do in the outside. In other words, they would like it if I came to them. I I'm producing a cartoon for another network. I'm not going to Tom and saying, Tom, is it okay if but I produce the some... They would like that. Everything goes through Howard's agent, and his agent makes sure that all of the lines are straight. And That's true. And there are true. no right. cross lines. So stop it. But you know I what? don't think Cabby crossed any lines. Well, you know you are not running this company. I'm telling you what I think. I don't what think he think? crossed lines. I think, think it's, it's a control issue. Is. It's a control issue. Well, you Kevin think was a little, it's not what it is. He was a little funny about the whole thing because he came to me for three days in a row. He yeah. said he wanted to come on on Friday. And I kept saying to him, does Tom know about this? And he kept going, dude, we're advertising on the station. Which wasn't, I took it to be yes. Right. Here's, here's where Kevin went wrong. But, but he knew. He shouldn't come on my show and promote something um, that, you know, that Tom doesn't know about. Right. All right, if it's questionable. But as far as him going into business outside of this company, as long as he's dealing crack, and, he's, and he's assuming that, assuming that there's nothing illegal about his website, he should be able to do it and not have to ask permission about it. And if he wants to be an advertiser and be upfront about it, that should be fine. Why shouldn't a guy believe in his own product, which is radio? Why shouldn't he believe in the advertising of radio and buy into a business and advertise it? Same with me. I'm a schmuck. Excuse I should me. Excuse yeah. me, but you know what? You are you have always been, Mister. I will not take advantage of the listener. That's right? true. Okay, and that's and, my and, that's my feeling. And, and you know what? And you're a thousand percent right on that. Yeah, I'm a class and, guy. Absolutely. Can't be this, not. This is a, this is absolutely <laughs> the opposite end of the pole on that. that absolutely. Okay, and that's another reason why it's not going to happen. All right. No. That's a, that's once again talent losing out control to right. the boss man. Yeah, right. And I oh, say <laughs> I say it's wrong. But Tom, I uh, believe me, it's to fight for Cabby, I could care less. Do whatever you want. So it's not happening. <laughs>
Is Howard, it, Howard, I got a run. Is over? Yeah, it's going to be over. Oh, really? <laughs> you know what? I have a quick plug, though. My bookie's offering oh, half the big for the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> right, i got to take a break. <laughs> we have to get to some of our real sponsors right now. Yes. Tom, you're slowing things down. Thank you very much. We'll be back right after these words.